That's when I was at, doing a PhD at Melbourne University. The photos. Diana and Barry Pittock have been almost inseparable since they met. That's me. Mm. That was Easter. We were married that September. We decided we were right for each other. <laughs> And we've just had our 53rd wedding anniversary. 1975. Barry has been one of Australia's leading scientists, winning a Nobel Prize for his work on climate change. That's me and a couple of the other key authors. Mm -hmm. But now he faces a new challenge. His brilliant brain is deteriorating with Alzheimer's. I don't think I quite believed it. So we just go on living our life. Now it's a new normal, if you like. I need to write notes for myself all the time. It's not just a shopping list, but uh, what, what the schedule is for the day. <laughs> and uh, uh, Anybody that I've got to contact. And uh, if you're introduced to somebody, I've got to sort of say it over and over again in my mind and try and uh, lodge it there. But recalling it is very difficult. Yes, look, look at this One in ten Australians over the age of 65 have dementia, with 250 people told each day they have the condition. Despite the efforts of scientists around the world, there are still no treatments which can stop Alzheimer's from getting worse. Max McGowan knows only too well what living with Alzheimer's is like. His mother Gladys was diagnosed when she was 91. Well, I hope I don't get it, but I've got an elder brother and sister. But uh, touch wood, we've, none of us are showing any uh, real symptoms of it. And I've seen it round in, in other people who, who are unaware of it happening. And I just hope, well, hope it's not me one day. Today, he's having scans to see if he has the first stages of the condition. How do you feel about having the scans today? Well, it's a, I'm a bit wary, I guess, because it could be a bit like knowing what the future holds. For the past few decades, research mainly focused on a particular plaque in the brain called amyloid. It blocks the neurons from communicating. Scientists hoped getting rid of that plaque would slow Alzheimer's from progressing. But aside from one small study, there's little evidence that approach improves people's memory. Removing amyloid was the scientific community's main hope for a cure, but that hasn't happened. A number of big drug companies have pulled out of Alzheimer's research and treatment. Um, Pfizer is one of them, for example. Yeah. Is it because the amyloid idea is incorrect? Or is it because the drugs that are being given are being given either too late in the disease? In other words, once a person's got fully blown Alzheimer's disease with serious dementia, Scientists in Australia are now looking at a number of other possible culprits. All the science suggests that Alzheimer's disease and dementia has multiple causes um, and there's lots of different um, abnormalities and issues happening all at once. So whether we can actually come up with a magic bullet that can subvert all of that is a big challenge. The cure of Alzheimer's disease I think is still very much up in the air. This is more another way of showing... Whether... But there is hope. What is this scan showing us? So this is a scan through the brain. In Professor the... Stephen McFarlane is leading a study into a new drug called Anavex 273. There's a lot of holes in the whole amyloid hypothesis. It's all been targeted towards removing the plaque. This uh, starts way back prior to the plaque being formed and prevents the, the formation of these toxic proteins at their core. So it doesn't just... As well as removing plaque, the new drug sweeps away inflammation in the brain. And the early results have been promising. We've had people who've previously been accomplished painters, artists, piano players who've resumed those activities. Those sorts of improvements are much more meaningful in my view because they illustrate sort of really life-changing benefits to the person. Barry Pittock is taking part in the drug trial. If my memory doesn't get any worse, then, then that's fine. Um, um, but uh, yeah, the main thing is to prevent it getting worse.
the things that we know. To These scans show the impact of Alzheimer's on Barry's brain. We see a bit of shrinkage normally as people age because we lose about 10,000 brain cells a day after the age of 40. But this degree of shrinkage in a man of Barry's age is significant for him. Doctors hope this new medication could be the breakthrough they've been waiting for. If the trial is as successful as it could be, and if the results of the first smaller scale study, which wasn't placebo controlled, are replicated, and they're big ifs, but uh, if those hopes hold true, then we will finally have a disease modifying drug that can arrest or hopefully improve the course of the disease going forward. So the fish oil basically will Doctors have... like Professor Ralph Martins are looking further afield for a solution. He believes it's too late for experimental treatments once a diagnosis has been made. To date, uh, sadly, virtually all the trials have failed. And I think they failed because it's too little too late. So in a few minutes, you're going to get an injection. In his trial, Professor Martins is recruiting men who don't have memory problems, but where their brain scans show the very early sign of amyloid plaque. And this will last in your blood for up to eight weeks. If Max McGowan is eligible, he'll be given testosterone and fish oil to sweep out the plaque from the brain. Just left here. Uh, that's the one. He's back today to see urologist Dr David Gillette to get the results. You have the scan. Uh, I'm pleased to say in your case, uh, you actually fall into a low risk group. In other words, the scan mm. was good. And mm. That's good. The results mean Max won't be part of this trial. Scientists will scan hundreds of others to find men who are eligible. Professor, what are you hoping um, the impact of testosterone will be on these patients? Well, I'm really hoping that the amyloid load will be markedly reduced and that will d delay or even prevent the onset of, of dementia in them. If these findings are successful, the beauty about it is that we don't need to go to another drug trial. It can be rolled out in the community fairly readily. Oh, good. Mm. For Barry and Diana, it's now about helping him live well with Alzheimer's and hoping the new treatment he's taking works. Oh, it would be terrific. We live our lives and we can continue living our lives. To maintain what the level that Barry has would be terrific. <laughs>